Good morning, welcome to the Dance Engineering Workshop. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video today. Now we've got this uh, lovely yellow Westfield in behind me, a uh, 2001 car fitted with a C20XE uh, Vauxhall engine, a very popular engine. Uh, makes a change though from a, a Z-Tech, I suppose. Um, so it's coming to us for a, a ECU swap. Um, the old ECU, the OEM one, uh, is probably well, knocking on 20 years old. Uh, one of the coil drivers had gone down so swapped the coil packs, swapped leads, swapped plugs, uh, checked the wiring, but unfortunately uh, the uh, coil driver appears to have gone down. So um, it's come to us for a new ME221 ECU, the Gen 2 model. Um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to uh, highlight um, the uh, features and uh, basic wiring of this ECU. I've done a similar thing for the Duratec. Uh, on the Gem 1 ECU, uh, so that's available on our channel if you want to have a look at that. It uh, covers the basics of uh, putting a, an ECU onto an ITB car. Uh, this car is also on ITBs, so I'm just going to go through the basic connections and uh, some basic features of this ECU. Hopefully do a dyno video at the end and uh, see what it'll do. So uh, the old ECU has already been pulled out of the car and ready to put our new plug and play Vauxhall loom into place. So, basic connections on the loom. Um, one of the most important ones, we've got the crank sensor, so it comes with the three pin Vauxhall style um, crank sensor pin, uh, plug. And we've got the TPS, uh, so on any individual throttle body conversion, uh, we don't use a map sensor, we just use a throttle position sensor for load. So again, that comes with a three pin Bosch style plug on there. Now obviously depending what uh, individual throttle bodies you're running and what sensor you're running, that may need to be changed, so that's one of the few changes that that may be needed on this loom. Um, we've also got obviously the coil pack plug. So again, that comes with the Bosch Vauxhall style four pin uh, plug. So that'll go straight on. We've got the cam sensor, that's optional. So you can run it in wasted spark and grouped fueling and that way you won't need a cam sensor particularly. But if you've got a cam sensor, no harm in putting that on there. You can run it sequential and all the rest of that. And um, we've got the injector loom. So four injector plugs. Uh, obviously self-explanatory, everything's labelled, injectors one to four, so it's dead easy, dead easy to plug on. Um, we have a map sensor connection, uh, again this is not used on an individual throttle body conversion because you want to use throttle position for load and not map, uh, so that will not be used in this case. And then finally we've got uh, onboard wideband, so the Gen 1 ECU didn't have onboard wideband but uh, the Gen 2 does, so that will plug straight into a Bosch LSU 4.9 sensor and work out of the box, that's very handy obviously for your uh, MOT emissions requirements, um, auto tuning uh, and general uh, sort of fuel economy and that sort of thing, so well worth having. And then finally, we've got obviously powers and ground. Again, they're labelled. We've got a battery live and an ignition live to go on there. Um, that is the ignition relay. So that's the relay that actually powers the ECU. So as long as you connect an ignition live to the ignition live, you connect a battery live to the battery live, and you put the grounds on, then that will power up and the ECU will run. So we'll get this on the car and that should be, as I say, plug and play, everything should plug straight in, we'll get it all tidied up and uh, we'll get it on the dyno, see what it'll do. Okay, so we've got uh, the ECU installed now and we've got it mounted on the bulkhead here on the Westfield and we've run all the cabling and the wiring and we've connected up the injectors to the Genby throttle bodies here, we've got the coil pack plugged in, we've got the cam sensor plugged in and we've got the crank sensor plugged in at the other side of the engine down on the front on these uh, C20XE engines. Uh, we've also powered up the original fuel pump relay um, that was already in the car, so that's uh, running off one of the low side outputs from the ECU, so the ECU will power the fuel pump, uh, prime it on startup and obviously run it during operation. It will also cut out if, uh, if it doesn't see a crank signal, so if you, uh, you know, have an accident or whatever it will, it will cut out uh, just like most fuel pumps will. Uh, so that's fuel pump relay sorted. Uh, this is the ignition relay that comes on the uh, ME221 ECU loom as standard. So that actually powers the, um, the, the ECU itself and has a battery live to it. Uh, and then we've also powered up the original uh, fan relay off another low side output from the ECU. So the fan is controlled by the ECU as well. We've got the air temperature sensor mounted just near the air filter. You can put it in the back plate, but uh, I quite like just putting it somewhere close. It doesn't actually need to be in the back plate. Uh, it doesn't often, uh, it doesn't 
suffer as much heat soak if you uh, if you don't put it in the back plate. Uh, we've got the original coolant sensor on the other side of the engine that's also plugged in. So basically that's all of the connections ready to go. So we've got it strapped down on the dyno. Um, this is, um, as far as I'm aware, a standard C20XE engine uh, on 45 mm Gemby throttle body. It's got a nice exhaust on it, um, but no vernier pulleys, no head work. Uh, and I think it's on standard cams. So uh, let's see how it does. So after uh, lots of glorious ITB noise from the uh, C20XE, um, it's done, and I have a lot of mapping obviously, uh, spent some time getting the ignition right, fueling right on the mighty software with the ME221. Uh, it's done 186 brake horsepower, which is pretty good, it's about what we'd expect out of one of these, uh, and it's got a lovely flat torque curve, I hope you can see that there on the uh, on the graph there, I'm sorry it's backwards, uh, that's just the way this phone camera appears to work, but um, yeah, 186 brake horsepower, uh, fully converted to the ME221. Uh, hope this video has been helpful for you if you're thinking about using one of our ECUs or throttle body packages, um, and it's a little bit of a guide on how to uh, how to connect it all up and uh, get you up and running. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, put them in the uh, comments below. Um, I will put a link to the products as well, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.